Well, hello there, everyone. It's Carol here from the Crafty Emporium. Um, firstly, I'm going to apologise because the lighting in here is rubbish today. It's a horrible, miserable, wintry day outside. Um, and so I've had to put my, my lamp on to give me a bit of extra lighting. So we might get a little bit of shadowing. Um, but I'm hoping that you will be able to see this project okay. This is a Christmas project that I've done utilising um, Artie Mays' digital kit and it's called Old Time Christmas and there's, there's several sections to it um, and this is what I've, I've made with it. Uh, so basically my thought process was that I would make something that wasn't massive, didn't have lots of pages in because... Um, I wanted it to be, um, or the idea behind it was that it would be somewhere where you could put some Christmas memories in for this year. And you could then make another one for the following year. Because we don't always have lots of information to write in there and lots of photographs. So sometimes it's just nice. And I thought it would be make a lovely little collection then that you could have a series of them collectively then on a shelf for each individual year. So it's in between a mini album and a journal. Okay, so it's it's an, an in between. It's more venturing down the mini album side than it is the journal side, but you'll see when we get to the inside of it. So basically, I've used a file folder, and I'm going to do a basic tutorial on this tomorrow, um, so that you can all have a go at making your own. I'm not going to show you how to decorate it. I'm just going to show you how I made the basic album because then you can go through your own papers or use the same digital kit as I did and create your own and then you can decorate it how you wish to your heart's content. All right. So on the front cover, if I tilt it within the light, you may be able to see. I've got some hessian here that has got some... I'll bring you a close-up some gold and um, gold arc at me red even um glittery decoration on it view some rickrack some buttons and then this was one of the postcards from out of the um kit itself with the words merry christmas on it and i've, I've wrapped some of the uh jute string around there as well i've made myself a little um dangly tassel with a big with a big Christmas bell on there as well. And I've attached that to the album. As I say, I'm sorry, I'm hoping you can see this with the light the way it is. So I've added a, a metal eyelet here and I've used a ball pin to then attach a clip which has got the other tassely dangly bits there. And then I've just left the plane back, but you could add a pocket on the back of there as well, I suppose. So if we open it up, Let's move that out of the way. So I've got a big pocket here on the inside. And again, I've decorated it up with some rickrack. And I've also used up some of my peel-offs as well. I'm fed up of them sat on the shelf um, and want to use them up. And I thought that this was an ideal way of being able to use some of them up too. And so what I did was, this was one of the envelopes that was in the kit. And it had got like little postcards here. So I've actually cut those out and attach some uh, tracing paper on the back. So it now forms a window envelope. And then inside, I've just put some coffee dyed paper. But as you, you can see, look through those windows that you can see the coffee paper going through there. And then here I made a, a journaling card stroke photograph. Um, little booklet so I put one of the images on the front so use some more of my peel offs open it up you could put some photographs on there you could even put one on the back so I've left the pages fairly plain because what I thought was was that if you wanted to write about something that happened over your Christmas period you could just rip out some lined paper write on that and then stick it onto the the actual page you could also put a picture on there as well so then you're writing about what was in the picture but I have put I went through my dictionary and I just picked out some Christmassy words 
um, from out of the dictionary and laid them up onto some red paper and put those on the bottom of the page. So it just added a little bit of interest. And as you can see again, I've put some peel offs on the corner of the page. Now what I've done here is I actually made it into a page pocket so that you can pull out, oh no, <laughs> I'm lying, that's the next page. <laughs> uh, we'll pretend we didn't do that. We'll cut. On this next page here, <laughs> I did again, I left it plain, put some peel offs on and then I've added two tags from out of the digital kit that you can then flip over individually and then I've attached a ball pin onto the ribbon and cut out um, another part of the digital kit and added a little one on each of the tags so it just added a little bit of extra decoration on there. And then on the back of the tags, I put a glassine bag to make a pocket. Did some of the music paper that's within the kit on the front of the glassine bag. And then cut out some of the elements to put inside of the pocket. So that you can write on those as well if you wish. Now on this next page, which happens to be a pocket. <laughs> I've done the same thing again. Left it plain chosen some words and on this one this one says family um to put that on as the interest in the page and also maybe the inspiration of what you're going to put on there so you could put a family photograph on there and then write about it on the side put some more peel offs on and oh look a card that you can pull out of the pocket that's on this page so i added um punched out circle of one of the images but then you could put a nice photograph on there or write on the card as well I'll put that away later again another plain page on this one I did the um, image again that I used on the front and using a large copper paper clip I then had got these um, these are like snowflakes copper snowflakes and I've just attached that onto the actual paper clip itself which holds this card in place so again you can spin it over a little something on the back of there and either add a photograph or write on there but that is then just clipped to the page so I've kept it fairly plain as you can see so then you can add all those extra frilly bits afterwards I've attached another two of the tags here from the kit and again they flip individually and then there's also glassine bags on the back of these two. Again use the music paper, cut out a couple of the elements to decorate the front of the glassine bags up and then inside some scrap bits of coffee dyed paper I've put in there as well so that you can write individual little pieces about each individual person that you saw over Christmas or what gifts you got off those particular people. Another page here and on this little dictionary snippet I've put holly so there's an explanation of holly there, more peel offs and again this one is a pocket with another blank card inside of it with a punched element at the top that acts as the little tag to be able to pull that card from out of the pocket. Will it go in? Yes. There we go. So it just adds a little bit of decoration on the end of the page where the actual tab bit sticks out. The last page is also left blank again so that you can decorate up after Christmas if you want. Then on the actual back cover itself, I added one of the postcards on top of a pocket that I made here but I only attach the postcard at the top and at the bottom so then you could actually slide something underneath there so let's say you had a really posh Christmas dinner and you had a menu so um, or maybe you went out somewhere posh then you could actually fold the menu up and slip it underneath there and then you've got a memento of the meal that you had and then in the pocket itself I made a little mini journal out of one of the pages from out of the kit and I added some pockets some more cards and then just some coffee dyed papers and again used up some of my scraps to just make up the little mini journal that goes into 
the pocket at the back there. So as I say, it was just something really quick and simple so that if you wanted to make one for each year, it wasn't something that was going to take you hours, weeks and months to do. It was just something that you could produce quite quickly, keep your mementos in there. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt and you've got one for this year and then you could do another one in maybe different papers for the following year. Have a little collection of them on your shelf. Lovely. Okay. So as I say, I'm going to do a quick demonstration tomorrow of how I made this. I'm not going to decorate it up. I'm going to leave the decorating entirely up to you. Um, and see how we go from there. Okay, thanks for popping by again and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.